Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, players, gamers, heroes of all ages. Welcome back to the heart of the storm. This is Hotscast, a special edition episode, although it is technically number 26, recorded at 10 p.m. on the right coast. What's the date today? November 12th. <laughs> wow. Sorry. 11, November 12, 12, 14. <laughs> November 12, 14. We are fresh back from blizzcon that's right Blizz 2014 just took place we've got so much hero stuff to talk about what we're going to do tonight is kind of a macro level of all the epic awesome that took place at, at blizzcon we'll go through line by line what we heard about at um at blizzcon on heroes we'll give our initial overviews and we're going to break it down a little bit, just kind of feel the feels, tell you how, you know, all the geek out moments we had, because next week we will go into a more of a micro level because we've got a special treat for you guys. Coming up at the end of the show, the final half, I, thanks to the awesomeness that is Brandon and Siobhan, two of the amazing CMs from the Heroes team, I was able to sit down for a half hour one-on-one -on -one interview with none other than Samwise Didier, the legend Woo! himself. And we talked Woo! all things heroes. Uh, I embarrassed myself terribly playing Lost Vikings in front of him. I really should have picked a different hero. It's okay, it was funny. <laughs> so that's going to be the, uh, the second half of the show. So we're gonna do about 20, 30 minutes of a BlizzCon macro. And there's another reason for that. One, I don't like the shows to go too long and we do have a half an hour interview. Two, our very own Nerdy Char is heading off to a midnight release of some game. I mean, you may have heard of it. it yes. It's called Warlords of Destiny or or, or Guardians Warlords of, of Heroes. Or Heroes, Heroes of Draenor. Of the Draenor Storm. Draenor. That's launching tonight. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, it's kind of a big deal. Kind yeah. of a big deal. Kind Forever. of a, it ties yeah. into BlizzCon. She is off tonight. Hello, everybody in the chat room. Thank you for uh, thank you for coming out. Wow, chat room chat room is blowing up right now. And yes. hello, hey, we saw you in the Hilton, and yeah. we saw you. I hung out with you a lot. You, unfortunately, we didn't see at BlizzCon. Sorry, Bert. We love you though. So okay. let's get into it. <laughs> um, introduce the host real quick. You know him. You love him. First up, we got Mike, aka Fimless. Hello. No and cool quip today because no cool quip. Rush. Nope, we're going right into it. And Kaylee, aka Nerdy Char, Woohoo! aka Warlords of Drainer, in T minus an hour and forty five minutes. In T, that's exactly right. Plus three hours. Plus, but, well, plus, yeah. <laughs> but at least I get to hold my collector's edition. Yeah, you can hold the box. You go, woo, look at the box. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So let's get into the heroes news. First up, we got not one. Not two, but three playable on the show floor new heroes, a hint slash preview of a fourth, and I don't want to give too much away, but Samwise in our in our discussion may have let slip another one that's coming in a little <clears throat> little cough moment. Yeah, you'll hear about it at the end of the show. Pretty good. Uh, first up, let's talk <coughs> about our three new heroes. The first one. It's really like five. Technically, it's five. Well, yeah, technically it's five. You're right. It's, it's five. <laughs> uh, first up, this is one that definitely, well, I don't want to say definitely the three that I played that was my favorite. Let's start off with Jaina. Jaina Proudmoore, you know her, you love her. She is a mage. She is an assassin. And this is exactly what we've been talking about. We wanted a pure caster assassin. Nerdy Char, what do you think? Oh, the game needed Jaina. Yes. I am oh, gosh, they so did. excited for the mage. And actually, there when they do the Q&A after all the panels, somebody actually asked uh, about her being part of the assassin class because they were saying maybe they should split mage off into its own sort of class makeup because she's just so unique and she doesn't necessarily fit that assassin description. And I, I don't know, I think I kind of agree. She's kind of unique in that aspect. That's a good point, and that's definitely yeah. something, you know what, like I said, we'll, we'll go into a lot of stuff in more detail next week. Um, I know all three of us are going to be doing a lot more viewing of all of the panels. Uh, BlizzCon is just utter craziness when you're there, and you just you can't see all the panels. It's impossible. 
So we're all going to uh, deep dive into the virtual ticket, watch the panels, you know, make sure we have all the info in front of us, and then we'll we'll do a, a much more in depth talk. But I did remember hearing that. Um, I don't know. I I don't want to say I disagree with you, but I think she felt good as an assassin. I, I didn't have a problem well, with it. Mike, what'd you think? Well, one of the things they did say when that person asked the question was they're actually looking at changing the names, especially right. for all of them that they don't know. This is alpha. They have no idea if this is really the names they that they're going to give the different classes of I mean, different types and roles. And they may be more roles. They may, you know, as they progress, especially once you get more and more uh, heroes, it may be worth it to break it down more to allow for better uh, filtering and things like that. Right. But uh, Jaina looked great to me. I didn't get to play. I actually decided not to play uh, in lieu of other things just because we are in alpha. It should be out soon in a few months. We should be over th over the next few months. We should be getting all these heroes to play mm -hmm. with uh, and, and other things that we'll be announcing. So um, I figured I would spend my time better at other things and going to panel to some of the panels and stuff so yeah. i did get to watch her being played by somebody i was uh, standing behind and um looked like fun she looked a little underpowered on her auto attack but it's not surprising she's supposed to be um but otherwise really cool ice mages rock yeah oh yeah it's funny you say that actually because that was something that and and you know i think i'm gonna we're gonna try to have uh the guys from the nexus on because this is something that i i'm pretty sure it was ben stacks and packs who said in a discussion on their show about, um, or actually might've been when we were together on a show, um, you know, the auto attack for a mage, that, that was kind of a funny thing to balance in a MOBA um, in terms of that, you know, the way a mage, a traditional mage is, you're always using mana. You're not just mm -hmm. like the auto attack, really. You're always casting spells. So I almost, I don't think it's a bad thing that her auto attack felt underpowered. Yeah. She felt that- I love that she's all combos. She's all like combos. She's and that's all the combos. That's awesome. He felt that her her Q, which was um, uh, the frost oh, What was the Q called? Frost. Is it a frost bolt? Frost bolt. Yes. Yeah. He felt the Q was underpowered, and I think no, what and we kind of had a discussion about this. He was opening with the Q, which makes sense. Ah. A lot of times you would, but the way Jaina worked out is uh, if you had a target chilled, which all of her attacks chill the target. If they're chilled, you've got a fifty percent crit rate. And the crits were radonk. So yep. what I would do is I was actually opening up with uh, either her W or E, which was Kona Cold and Blizzard. No, maybe yeah. Blizzard. Possibly, possibly a Blizzard. Yeah. Either way, I was opening up with that, getting the target chilled, then hitting them with the Frost Bolt, and I felt her damage was really strong. Like I, I really dug her. Yeah, uh, you have to did play you that play the player. Did you play Jaina? Kaylee? No, I didn't actually don't don't hate me, but I didn't play anything on the floor. That's okay. I was I was too lines, interested. Sanity. Yeah, they were. And the, you know, every time I've been to BlizzCon, I've seen the lines, but I've been always been more interested in the panels because right. it's I mean, like, I cheated a little bit because uh, you know, Blizzard PR was awesome and they did get they got us one press pass, which I claimed for myself, sorry. But uh, <laughs> so I did get to play heroes up. Don't worry, Mergul is gonna get you for Yes, Mergul is pass. going to get me. Um, <laughs> uh, so I did get a chance to play it a few times. Uh, next up, we've got in the list of new characters, for all you Horde fans out there, we got Thrall. Woohoo! Yeah, Thrall. For He's the, awesome. For the Thrall uh, was for actually the meant to be a warrior at first. They made him an assassin. Thrall yep. is... I thought he was going to be a support first. He was going to be Rhaegar, remember? Well, that's the thing. We then they took his kit months ago and when we got rig everybody assumed it was going to be thrall that we were getting as yep. a support but we got Rhaegar instead yep, yep and the problem we felt was how are they going to differentiate them thrall yep. feels very different there's no similarity Rhaegar thrall oh, yeah. two totally different heroes thrall plays very heavily as an assassin lots of damage a well, very a cool heal. elemental right elemental Basically. yes you've got your uh, your um chain lightning You've got, actually, you've basically, you've got earth, you've got uh, lightning or air, whatever you want to call it, and you got fire from Thrall. You've got uh, your blazing wolf. No, wolf, what do they call it? Wolf, um, I don't remember. Uh, it's in the game. It's you in WoW. It's um, fire wolf or something, whatever it is. And uh, what's up, Crayon? And um, 
So you've got your fire from your wolf, you've got your uh, lightning from your um, chain lightning, and then you also have earth in, a, in like an earth shock type ability and an earthquake. Thrall, very powerful. I liked his um, his his D basically his trait, which was a, a heal. It's, it was almost it was basically a vampiric assault. So you basically have vampiric assault built into Thrall. Very strong tune. Really enjoy playing him a lot. Uh, did you guys get a chance to at least watch anybody play in Thrall? Um, I saw somebody doing a little bit of playing him. Uh, he definitely looked like he was going to be. Uh, pretty fun to play a lot of interesting moves i think a little different than some of the other ones so that would be nice so it's always mm-hmm. nice to see the them come out different than yeah. each other you know he's he's not a high mobility melee assassin yeah, he has frost frost wolf resistance is his uh Fro- oh, frost wolf and resistance with enough, his... he gains charges for damaging enemies and then with enough charges he heals himself he heals himself right and that goes so well with that's... chain lightning because you do chain lightning it hits a bunch of people that gives yes. you stacks and then you hit you heal yourself right if you know what feral impressed spirit me more, roots people what's that even more so than the abilities that they talked about, I liked that they had such a hard time picking which thrall to embody in yes. the game. I mean, and yep. I think that after all of the you know time that they spent doing that, they really did a great job personifying him in the game. And I think if you guys haven't had a chance to see him in the game yet, you need to check out the videos and stuff because they did a great job with him, and he just looks amazing. Right. I, yep. I liked yep. the presentation. They basically said, this is thrall. And this is Thrall. And this is Thrall. And this is Thrall. And they kept yes. putting up pictures of Thrall through the ages in different games. Yep. And yep. that was a hard decision to to decide. Well, you, you know, know they're gonna do they're gonna do skins for like a bunch of those, especially for the Shaman oh. Thrall. You know, the, oh. the one the more like with the hood on and the big you know, big balls yes. around his neck and yeah. <laughs> that would be cool though, having all those skins yeah. too. <laughs> the big beads. Yeah. I think Samwise yeah. and I actually talked about that, about the uh, the look of Thrall and how they're going to incorporate that with skins. I'm pretty sure that came up during the interview. Um, so, yeah, Thrall, Thrall was amazing. I got a chance to play Thrall as well. He was really fun. Um, yeah. Very, very fun. Good kit. I really enjoyed playing him. Next up. The final, last three heroes. The final of the last three heroes. Uh, we say three. Not really being all that facetious. We've got the Lost Vikings coming into the game. And it is literally three heroes. It is three playable, basically tunes as one. It was it was insane. I was so yeah. bad at it, so bad. There was apparently there's. It's probably the, good if you're a StarCraft two player. You'll probably be very good at these guys. Yes, if you're if APM, you're a high level SC two. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, pop around APMs. the sc- the screens and half yeah. one half. <laughs> my, my APH is in one. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you get about one half an APM. <laughs> yeah, um, Kaylee, there was a somebody mentioned they actually sat down the, next to me at uh, at one of the terminals, and they mentioned a Dota champion that plays similar to that, where there's actually like three different dudes that split off. Does, does that you're much better with Dota and League than I don't I remember am. anything like that. Like Mebo, mm. Meepo, Bebo, something. Meep. Mm. Sure. He mentioned something like that as he sat down next to me and he's like, so I think I'm going to be, you know, I, I'll be able to play Lost Vikings because I play this guy well. I have no idea. Um, but Dustin Browder actually mentioned that in testing, somebody was able to, I don't think he said who, they were able to, on Dragonshire, cap both Sun and Moon and the Dragon Knight with the single, just with the Lost Vikings. Yeah, that wouldn't be OP or anything. Well, he no. said it was quite well, literally you, the hardest thing that you could ever possibly do in the game. I think he said he did tried to do it. Yeah. yeah, somebody did it. Somebody did it successfully. Because yeah. each one of them is is kind of squishy in and of themselves, although they're all different. And uh, from what I can see, and then, uh, but you know, you have to kill all three to kill the hero, and right. um, the you can move them all in one as one group around, or you can split them up however you want. You can have one go off and have the other two kind of watch for someone to go attack them and then barrel in and you know, and take them out or you know, there's lots of ways to play them. And so th- yep. I think that they were talking about, they needed to like add more difficulty levels to the thing where it says how difficult yes. it was. So like this guy is extreme. Yeah, very, no, he said like very, 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 very hard. Or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly right. 
<laughs> yes. And so. um, yeah, I can attest to that. It, he, very, very hard. Um, it came up in the chat. So we might as well talk about it now. I was going to talk about the new maps. So we might as well talk about it now. We got a date. We have Woo. a closed beta date of Ju uh, I was about to say July. <laughs> July. <laughs> no, yeah, they're like, no! <laughs> uh, January what? 13th, 2015. January Woo. 13th, people. That is yeah, that's coming like two months? Two months. Two, two months from November, tomorrow. December, December, January. I can count. Two months that's from tomorrow. Two months. Yeah, yeah. Two months to close beta. I had two years old. Awesome. Two yes. years so old. It's coming. It's <laughs> show title, real? I can count. <laughs> I can count. Rook can count. Rook can count. Rook can count. Ken has count. <laughs> count um, real. So yes, we have closed beta, which is count awesome. Count real killer. That's what everybody's been asking for. Count and Vincent. yes, we got woohoo's already in the chat. <laughs> um, so that and was the, that was the next big announcement. Do we we what? And we are going to try. We cannot promise anything. We are going to try as hard as we can to yes. pummel our contacts at Blizzard to get us ways to get some, if not every one of you guys into the beta yes. with us so. we don't it's it's probably not going to be beta keys the road not doing the no, keys no 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 what we're probably hoping is that if we can provide a battle net list of, of battle tags that maybe they can flag the accounts for beta that's what we're going to try for folks so I we're know going to explain interested. that people that listen to our show are probably really 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 excited to play the game and yeah, therefore there they should be listening be to this show in. for a year <laughs> I, I, which and is, haven't played and haven't which played is, <laughs> it's longer than the game has even technically existed and they have not had a chance to play it yet so these people yeah, really awesome. want to play blizzard yeah um, yes. and that's actually one cool thing i wanted to bring up before we bring up the maps might as well say it right now uh I'm not going to name names specifically however uh i think i know myself and i'm sure all three of us were very very humbled by finding out how many people at blizzard listen to this show oh yeah not just regularity, like literally every episode. And and that was just amazing to hear that because, you know, we we love this game. We love heroes. We love the community. We love what they're doing. And to find out that they are actually listening to us talk about their game, like that's just, it's insanity that that even happened. So I was yep. truly humbled by that. And to those, you know who I'm I'm talking about, um, you know who you are, thank you. We, we truly appreciate yep. it. And... I hope that we have conveyed unto you how much we love this game, and uh, we hope that we have we some ideas on that new map that isn't actually out yet. But did you that yeah. you haven't actually done yet? But did you have announced? Yeah. We have some ideas. Yeah. Again, we'll talk about <laughs> this week too. We're getting more micro show. Yeah, but, that's um, yes. yeah. Uh, we just we we really appreciate it. we we you know all the people we got to meet. Uh, finally got a chance to meet Cloakin. Cloakin's awesome. Ooh, uh, he was fun. Brandon a lot. Talked to to Siobhan a lot. Uh, Mike got a chance to talk to Spirian, to Catalyst, and to Trick Slayer, which I did not get to meet. And I was, oh, I got their signatures. Uh, I know he's got their signatures. We uh, speaking of signatures, this shirt. We're never here, gonna get to talk about the the, the new battleground. <laughs> <laughs> here, there's another. And by the way, this hot sketch shirt with signatures, that's going out to a fan of the show. Not gonna. Don't. I have no idea how we're gonna give it away yet. But that. Oh, I would just want an orange. That uh, he, he that's did. gonna happen. That is gonna be given away. Also, and those are awesome shirts, by the way. Yes, and if they you are awesome. if you want to buy those, you can go to epicgear.com. Epicgear.com slash e p i k gear.com, and you'll see yep. the Hotscast shirts there. You can pick one up. They are awesome. And during the BlizzCon <laughs> Heroes Grand Finals, which was epically commentaried by Cloakin and Trixlayer, they did an amazing job, and that that was intense those three matches oh i was so hoping it would go out to five but mm, anyway uh they were throwing t-shirts out into the crowd official blizzard heroes of the storm t-shirts that's the front check this out that's the back look at that how sick is that that is a nice a size small so that's going out <laughs> lucky small <laughs> listener small to the person show. that we so, none of us fit in small. It was nice, small both listener. both Rill and I went up for the for the shirt. Some other yes. dude like fell over on top of us. Rill ended yes. up with it because he's a little taller, which was fine because it was really for all, for for the show anyway. And then I'm we so and I'm we and you pulled it down. And I said, "Watch, it's going to be a small. Just wait." And he and it was a small. I was, was like, small. "Yeah." <laughs> yep. I knew it. So we have both of those to give away. So look for those soon. We'll figure out a little contest or something to uh, to do that. 
Um, last up, and you mentioned this, Mike, because uh, I know Kaylee's got to get going soon. We're going to talk about the maps. They unveiled two new maps that are definitively a coming very universe. soon. A third one that is in the future, one of them playable on the show floor. Now, the two maps that we were shown, uh, Sky Temple and Spider Queen, Spider, Spider's Lair, I forget Spider, what they call it. Spider that. Queen's Lair or some, Spider, Spider Queen's, Queen's something, something. Yes. I don't know. I'm, I'm that is, that, that was not playable, but that is the first entirely indoor map. It is 100% indoor. Tomb of the Spider Queen. Tomb of the Spider Queen. Thank you very much. The other one, Sky Temple, was playable. Absolutely yep. gorgeous. Amazing map mechanic. Again, we're going to get more into, uh, like, you know, more detail next week. But here's the cool thing. The maps that we've had so far. So we've got Dragonshire, Booty Bay. I know it's not Booty Bay. That's fine. Oh, oh, this is great. Samwise calls it Booty Bay every time, too. How awesome is that? Because <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard not to. Because it, really so, uh, it was. Yeah, exactly. So we've got uh, <laughs> Dragonshire, uh, Black Arts Bay, uh, Cursed Hollow, Haunted Mines, and 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 Garden and, of Terror. Go- Garden of Terror. Those are the Raven. One of the unforgettable. That is in the world of Raven's Court. We are now going into the other worlds. The two maps: the Sky Temple and Tomb of the Spider Queen. Is Luxuria. That's what they're calling. The, remember way back when they were talking, they actually had kind of like a world map, like a Nexus world map, and then the battlegrounds would fit thematically into the different worlds. This world that we just got these two new ones is Luxuria. And if that name rings a bell a little bit, it's because it is very much um, Luxor, you know, like the casino. It is Egyptian themed and it is gorgeous, beautiful, amazing. And I can't wait for everybody to see the Mercs, what the, yeah. the Siege Giants oh, They're do. amazing, yeah. The they Sky Temple stuff. itself is pretty cool because it's a floating it's desert. Just, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it looks, it's just like Tolbert, so cool. honestly. When you go into yes. Yes. the dungeons very in yes. Oldham, yeah, yeah it's, it's got this exact same feel almost, except it's all floating. and I, You guys sandy. didn't play it, so I don't know if you noticed this, but the Siege Giants on the map, instead of just hurling rocks... They have an obelisk tucked yeah, under their left arm, and they're ripping pieces off the obelisk and throwing it. It is yep. so sick. Oh, my gosh. The giant looks amazing. Really awesome. The giant looks amazing. So it's like a spidery yeah. thingy. Well, oh, spider. so good. And yeah, and the cool map looking. mechanic, very unique map mechanic. Really very cool map mechanic. Uh, so that was playable on the show floor. Absolutely loved it. Loved every second of that map. Cannot wait for that to come out. Uh, I'm excited for Spider Queen. It's that looks, that looks cool. cool too. Well, they announced it as their first indoor map, and it really does have that feel. Like when you're in it, it looks so cool because it feels like you're trapped in like a tomb or something. It felt uh, it feels Diablo like Diablo. Yeah. yeah, I was like, it feels like Diablo. Yeah. I'm, I'm stuck in Diablo. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was good. Like it was really, it was cool the way they um they uh and it wasn't even done yet. They no, wasn't even, was like completely out. finished, and it looked good. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know. I know Mike is particularly stoked about this one, so I'm going to let him announce uh, this. One. Yes. Is this? So one this thing they showed may, us. This is yeah. this. This may be thanks to Mike because this is something oh, he yeah, talked I don't about know. months ago. We'll see. So he can claim credit. Go well, ahead. the uh, so the um, the last thing they showed us, kind of as a teaser, was the um, a Diablo themed map, a Heaven and Hell map very cool I, um, you can probably find it online the, the picture of it but one side is hell and all themed as hell looks red and fiery and then the other side is heaven and that's all bright and shiny look i mean all diablo-esque i mean i think it's pretty much is sanctuary i think they call that 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 realm no. would be sanctuary isn't the i think they said they're calling it yeah not that map yeah. but well yeah no no no, not sanctuary um um what do you call, what, what they um, call it? No, what is Earth called? What, um, it's not called sanctuary. sanctuary. No, Diablo? sanctuary is the town, isn't it? No, sanctuary is the whole thing. Tristram is the town. Tristram is town. Okay, sorry, I'm getting mixed up. Yeah. Yes, because no, sanctuary uh, is the San- world. I actually mentioned the that they may be doing a Tristram battleground. Yes, too. a Tristram battleground would be awesome. That area. Yes. Well, yeah, one of the other things is one of the the, the uh, heroes coming is the skeleton king. 
which I said we, yes. would, we were going to get announced That's also it. at some point. I said, Skeleton King. And everybody's like, why do you want Skeleton King? I don't care. It's a Skeleton <laughs> King. <laughs> I don't care. But uh, so one of the things that I – it was really cool looking. They didn't really have anything to tell us about it other than, look, this is really cool. Look at this. And one of the things I said immediately to, to these guys when we were sitting there, I'm like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if the map mechanic was – that like as you did something that the it would be like like the creep and it like hell would move this way if if they're winning or they're getting the map objectives and you know and and heaven would move toward the so and you'd get some kind of bonus for being on your side you know so it would make it harder to like take over the other side but also as you get over you gain some kind of advantage for getting it to kind of slide over and maybe as it slides over it actually changes the minions uh, you know the the mercenaries if you get a mercenary camp and it switches over to the hell side they switch to like hell looking mercenaries instead of heaven looking mercenaries or you know mm. I think that you could do a lot of cool things with that with that kind of thing where you could kind of move that back and forth and it can be really dynamic um, but uh, it Ooh. looked really cool I'm yeah. kind of stoked for it I'm stoked for it anyway because I love Diablo so yes. I'm happy for that kind yeah, of the visuals that look map good. looks so sick so beautiful and I know and go remember we were talking about one particular um, not not Skeleton King was standing, uh, uh, but um, one particular hero that everybody has been yeah, discussing. Was, was, oh, that's your every, ring. That was your ring. That <laughs> as, um, uh, no, actually, that's oh, you want to hear to talk about that one? Right. No, this because isn't in the Q and A. This oh, that's isn't Rage Bugs. One? This is actually uh, oh, that's my it. neighbor's ring. Um, so, uh, oh, you want Kaylee to talk about the uh, the Q and A yes, about so that one character? Our resident yeah. ADP. I'm sorry, ADP. ADC. ADP. What is that? The security company. Yeah, ADP. Uh, as a resident ADC, I know Kaylee is amazingly stoked for this. I am amazingly stoked for this hero. I think this will be the next of all the ones they talked about. This will be the like kind of the fourth one coming because they gave, I, I almost gave the gender. They gave this one a little bit more spotlight. So, go ahead. Yes, Lady Sylvanas. Yeah, she looks so sick. So um, sick. Yeah, her oh, art is fantastic, and yes. she really is way more of the true ADC style than any of the assassins yes. that we've seen in the game so far. Much more than Vala. Yeah, more. I mean, she's totally her about trait is sick. running, turning around, and shooting. <laughs> running, turning around, and shooting. I mean, you're supposed to be constantly mobile with her and, you know, just staying away from everybody and kiting them and, you know, kicking their butt from range, so... I cannot wait to play her. I'm Dude, like talk about Uber Kite. She has the ability to um, like as the Banshee Queen basically to uh, I forget what the, the word they use, but essentially she can turn minions upon themselves. And the one it was the uh, the mercenaries. You can uh, mercen mind control mercenaries. mercenaries. Well, they said minions too, but for the mercenaries, you can mind control. Mind control. Thank you. Um, they actually had two siege giants and she mind controlled the one that immediately turned and started firing on his partner. And yes, everybody that was awesome. Went, yeah! I mean, they <laughs> that was awesome. Minds. What they were saying is that if you're playing against the Sylvanas, you got to be careful with mercenaries that you can't just yeah. say, okay, I'm going to throw the mercenary yeah. out there because she's going to turn them against you. So they can kill one control mind control, control the other. And now he's going after you and you, yep. you know, what are you going to do? Or I don't know if you can even get the siege golem, but if, Imagine you get the siege golem. She comes over and steals it from you and sends him back to you. <laughs> like no, yes. but uh, yeah. I mean, her trait is sick though. The the trait where she actually everything she shoots with her auto attack, all the main not heroes but like minions and towers, all basically get kind of frozen and they can't fire for like a certain. They basically like stop doing anything for a certain like a second or two or something. So if she keeps snacking on the tower, it can't shoot at her. So it's pretty cool. It looked. It made yeah. a little op. It might, it might change that, but it looked really cool in the thing. Yes, I'll probably be like auto locking her. Like, hey, Kaylee, yes. who are you gonna play? Sylvanas. Uh, duh. And it, like <laughs> all things, they did a fantastic job of differentiating her kit wise and look wise to Taronda. Like you cannot mix good. up Taronda and Sylvanas. You cannot mix up Rhaegar and Thrall. They do such a great job of separating the two. Um, I know we're getting kind of late on time, Kaylee. Do you got to run? Yes, I'm gonna get yelled at soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know what? Tell Zabby that again. Hockey sucks, and I'm just <laughs> telling everybody to running. Have her come. Out, so. Have her come and look in and wave to the yeah, camera. Yeah, tell so Zabby to be come on the show. Over. I don't know where she, she went. Come where, the show. where did Zabby go? Tell Zabby to come over. Uh, this oh. do not believe that hockey. Come sucks. say hi. But, but they hockey, want you to come say hi. to wave on on the real show thing. 
<laughs> Tell her to come say hi. Live show, yep. live show. And then what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna close out the <gasps> Hey Sabby! Hi. It's Sabby. Oh, she's got her Alliance hoodie on. Yes, she's got her hoodie. Heck yeah. on. Alliance. Again. Pretty Alliance. I don't have my <laughs> thingy. Where's my thing? Hey, hi. Synergy. Yep. He's another Synergy. podcaster. It's like podcasters oh. everywhere. What's They're up? everywhere. <laughs> we're um, like Hockey is a real sport. <laughs> yeah. Oh God! Here comes the hockey debate. Hockey versus Stop. soccer. Go. Don't leave it. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. No, I, well, I, nice. Here's the peanut gallery. <laughs> all, right. all right. I'm being ushered out the door. All right. Good night. Good night, guys. You can Cheers. get going.